again, but I want to give full honor to what we're going to announce today. I am actually more than excited today to announce the establishment of the Dr. Sally Tucker Allen Cultural Diversity Endowed Chair in the Mervyn M. Dimele School of Nursing at Charles Drew University of Medicine and Science. more honored and humbled that Dr. Tucker Allen and her husband, Mr. Charles Allen, are here today and that other members of their family and friends have joined us. I know some of you here earlier heard about Dr. Tucker Allen's keynote discussion and perhaps even a little bit about her bio, but I would really be remiss if I didn't share just a little bit about Dr. Dr. Tucker Allen's bio and impressive accomplishments to really explain and highlight why we at Charles Drew are so honored to have Dr. Tucker Allen allow us to launch the campaign for the Dr. Sally Tucker Allen Cultural Diversity Endowed Chair. So, Dr. Tucker Allen was among the first to identify the collective contributions of minority nursing health professionals with her landmark publication of the Directory of Black Nursing Faculty. And if I heard her correctly this morning, I think a new edition will be released in January 2014. So you might just be looking at Amazon. Dr. Tucker Allen is also a true trailblazer and minority nursing health professional who founded Tucker Publications, one of a few publishers dedicated to the dissemination of scholarly work of minority nurses which gave voice to the often muted contributions of scholars who address the health care needs of the underserved. These journals have published hundreds of articles focused on minority health issues and have been instrumental in assisting its authors and contributors to achieve tenure, promotion, and appointment at prestigious universities and academies as well as scholarly recognition worldwide. As a visionary leader in 1987, Dr. Tucker Allen dreamed that African American nursing faculty would represent a critical mass of nurse scholars and leaders in nursing education. She organized the Illinois African American nursing faculty and founded the Association of Black Nursing Faculty. Over the past 25 years and with her leadership, she has transformed the career tra trajectories of hundreds of African American nurse academicians. Attesting to her contributions, she is the recipient of numerous awards. She, her professional experience also includes appointment as interim dean, assistant dean, and professor of the College of Health Sciences at Chicago State University, she graduated magna cum laude with a Bachelor of Science in Nursing degree from Hampton and received her Master's de degree from Hunter College. And following her doctoral coursework, she completed postgraduate studies in financial accounting, personnel management, and leadership in corporate social responsibility in the MBA program at Benedictine College. Now, can you see precisely why CDU, a private university, with the public mission and a rich history of serving those who are most vulnerable and underserved in transforming lives of students from underrepresented and economically disadvantaged backgrounds who want to do the same. It's very, very honored to establish the Dr. Dr. Sally Tucker Allen Cultural Diversity Endowed Chair at CDP. $500,000 campaign and the purpose will be to bring black or minority nurses into teaching and other professional opportunities by providing them a means of achieving those requirements in areas which have been denied, which include publishing, research, and as well as being the recipient of various grant awards. Before appointments are made, we will seek to uh, raise $500,000 over the next 30 months. 
with the assistance of Dr. Tucker Allen and her husband, Mr. Allen. And then after that, we will actually seek to identify a chair who is conversant and knowledgeable about minority health care issues so that we can continue the legacy that Dr. Sally Tucker Allen has charted for us. Now that you've heard what we are striving to do with the implementation of the endowed chair, I invite all of you to consider making a pledge or donation to the Sally Tucker Allen Cultural Diversity Endowed Chair. I would also be privileged if Mr. Charles Allen would come and make remarks on the family's behalf. Once again, let's just acknowledge Dr. Allen. When I talk with my wife, I sometimes get emotional. <laughs> but um, we tell a story that was very, that's very interesting. We were in uh, Hampton together. At least I met my wife in Hampton. And uh, a part of that, uh, I was considered more of a street person. Uh, she said, who? <laughs> But I saw this young lady coming across campus one morning, and um, she brightened up the day. So I went to a friend of mine who just happened to be her big sister and said, I would love to have her at this dance on Friday. And she had her there. <laughs> and so a thug knows how to take care of business with the opportunity. <laughs> tell people, you know, I married a beautiful woman, but I married her for my children, because I didn't want them coming out done. <laughs> uh, we've been married 54, long 55 years. And we've always uh, supported each other. When I was admitted to Columbia uh, for two years, I was a student in Sally Work. Uh, then after that, uh, uh, she went to Hunter and I was and was a student, and I worked. But we also raised three wonderful children, uh, now with uh, three grandchildren. Um, I am so pleased, and, and you know, people say proud, and so on. I am pleased that my wife has been so long. I have always been proud of her. And, and in that, that uh, thing of support. Uh, I have pledged to start with five thousand dollars to this for this program. Mm -hmm. And and she's beginning to break me <laughs> because at our at our alma mater she was admitted to the she was actually the second admitted to the Hall of Fame and after University. Oh, wonderful. Yes. And, yeah. and I established a, a endowed scholarship with her name there. <laughs> now, I'm not a wealthy man. <laughs> but I tell you, I tell you, over the years, if you contribute, yeah. it adds up. Yeah. You know, and we've been contributing to this fund since 1989 and it has reached now close to $50,000. Mm -hmm. You know, I hope that I will and my children will support this fund as long as they can. And God provides the blessing for them to do that. We are, we thank you for your hospitality. And, uh, and uh, you know, I would say good luck. This school is impressive. I don't think it's luck. I think it's the same old thing that's carried us all the time. Hard, hard work. work. Yeah. <laughs>